Hey folks, Handy Handy from HandyHandyMedia.com doing a review for Best Buy's blog on the Anchor 522 portable power station. We're also going to be connecting it to the Anchor Solex 622 solar panel. This is a foldable solar panel design. And we're going to see if you can charge all your digital devices while you're off the grid. If it is any good? Let's find out. Once again, here's the Solix 522 portable power station. The link is in the description. But essentially, this is like a portable power bank on steroids. You're going to be able to charge all of your portable devices, your laptop, smartphone, your Bluetooth speaker, your fitness tracker, even your earbuds, all in this one device. It's got 299 watt hour capacity of battery life. So it's not for big appliances, but mostly for your digital appliances. Now, in terms of the weight, it weighs slightly over eight pounds, about 8.2 pounds, if I'm not mistaken. And in this case, what look what I'm trying to do. I'm going to try to connect a blow dryer. Now, this is not what it's designed for, but on the low setting, uh, I wanted to see if it would work. So there I go. I am press the button to activate the AC. And on the low setting, you can see that it's working, which kind of surprised me. I wasn't expecting that. But as soon as I put it onto the high setting, it's not working. And that, once again, is because of that 299 watt hour capacity. What it's really designed is, well, like I'm showing in this case, charge all of your portable devices. You could be camping, you could be on a road trip. You want to keep all those devices charged. This is what the Solex 522 portable power station is really for. You can even charge it back up using USB-C. Also, it has an AC input on the back if you want to get uh, faster charging. Now here's the Solex 625 foldable solar panels. This is the model that works alongside the Solex 522. When you open it up, you can see that's the charging ports on that side. So that's where you're going to make all those connections. And then and this is the first time I actually opened it up. I was noticed, oh, okay, it's got some cables in there as well. So what you're seeing is the first time that I'm actually setting this up just to kind of give you that uh, experience of what it would be like. Once you unfold it, it's got these kind of like integrated kickstands uh, on the other side of each of the panels. So it took me a little bit of time to kind of figure out how this worked because it's really just all foldable. So it's not like a, a rigid design. But once it's up, here it is. You can see there's that solar panel. Almost looks like fabric. And it is kind of bendable. It's got an IP67 water resistance rating. So it can withstand rain and dust. And in the middle, you'll see that little dial. What you want to do is when you're positioning it, you want to get that dot in the center of that red ring there in terms of getting the angle. That's going to give you the best uh, optimal conditions to get the sunlight. This solar panel, the 625, can do about 100 watts of uh, DC in, of, of power that you're going to be able to get out of it in ideal, perfect conditions. And again, here's those kickstand design. It's a little flimsy at first. You know, it took me a little bit of time. If you had two people, it'd probably be better and easier to, to mount. But after I kind of like figured it out, it's not too hard to get, but it feels like it does want to fall. But once you get that right angle, um, it's a pretty secure look. And I also have it on a flat surface. This is my jump rope pad. But if I had it on like on the grass, I think you might actually have a, an easier time. As you can see, I just have it kicked sitting up there uh, on the grass right now as I connect the Solex 522 portable power station to the 625 uh, solar panel. So it has that one connection, very, very easy to connect and to start harnessing that power. The only thing was this was on a very cloudy day. I wasn't really getting any kind of like power input coming in because of that. Uh, it was it's the middle of winter. It was super cloudy. I was waiting for some sun, but there is no sun in the forecast. So I had to kind of like set it up the way it is. But that's basically the setup that you would have if you're camping. Say there's lots of sun. Put it in that right angle, get it all perfectly set up, and you're going to be getting up to 100 watts of power to charge the Anchor Solix um, 522. One thing is for certain, we all need a portable power station in our lives as part of our emergency kit. The only question is, how big? If you just want to keep all of your portable mobile devices charged, then check out the Anchor 522 Solex. It's small, it's portable, you can take it with you at the beach on a camping trip, and you're going to be able to keep your tablet, your smartphone, and even your laptop charged. Now, if you're away for an extended period of time, you might want to check out the Solex 625 
solar panel, that's going to give you continuous power all the time. Again, link is in the description for both these products. I'm Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com. You can find links over here and we'll see you again next time.